I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, a great newsletter, which is very easy to get, Mastering Probability. Now, the way you get Mastering Probability, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under Newsletters. You'll see it on the right-hand side. You just hit Subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. Six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent, and one year, eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Now, folks, they all come with a thirty day money back guarantee. So, if you're checking it out, you know you can look at the six month, you can look at the year. Works for you in the, in the end of the month. Great. Okay, you can keep it. It doesn't. Guess what? They get your money back, and it's a great newsletter, folks. Uh, bottom line, each and every day, Steve's going through this market. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I, I'm kind of disappointed. No game seven for you and I to watch tonight. Yes, I know. How, how about that? Five game sevens over the weekend for 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 those of you that are hockey fans yes. out there, which is which is really the ultimate. The, the, so, no, especially yeah, uh, whole different ball game, right? Yeah, and now we've got uh, now we've got Tampa yep. versus the Panthers. So we got to come up with some kind of name for that, you know, like the Thrill in Manila. But no, or, or, I'm with you. You know, <laughs> and, and it used to be like you know, if it was Orlando, it could be the I four, but we don't really have a uh, you know, a direct corridor that would uh, connect uh, Tampa to uh, uh, to uh, Sunrise, the area where the uh, Panthers play. But it should be great. Should be great tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. And the amazing thing is, and you think about it, when you go back in time, folks, you know, like Steve's from Detroit, great hockey yeah. city. I'm from Boston, great hockey city. Florida, folks, is such an amazing hockey state. It's unbelievable. It really is. Absolutely. I mean, you should no, see how, how many, I mean, you know, uh, uh, fans are here. It's it's unbelievable. I just got off the elevator because you know we had a couple floors here, and yeah. you know the guys are getting on. They were all excited. They're there all weekend. You know what I mean? Get a hotel room, even though that they were only like twenty minutes away. But I can you know I can understand why. So pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I'm glad you're feeling better, man. You're a trooper. That's that's Whew. yeah. Well, I tell you, bronchitis for, for this. Yeah, I, I think I've had it before, but this time around. Um, the way that it affected my uh, my glands or my tubes or what have you, right. um, I would walk up a flight of stairs and be just totally out of breath. Oh, isn't that weird? I, I yeah. never felt it. You know, I mean, I, I after like after the second day of that, immediately went to my cardiologist. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> you got you, you got to check this out. See what the heck is going on here. Yeah, I, I mean, during COVID. I never. No, I, know. I listen, man. I know what you're saying. And folks, if you don't know what he's saying, that's a beautiful thing. But I had that happen to me a few years ago. I said, what just happened here, man? I'm, I, you know, you know, totally. It, it never happens. I, mean, I was going a half a block and I said, OK, yeah. something's wrong here, man. Yeah. It's, Especially when I started feeling like chest pain, yeah. which was just because of the right. inflammation. So, right. Uh, right. you know, the good news is drugs and stuff like that help to knock it out. So I'm just dealing with the, the remnants of it. But now you uh, sound yeah, good thought, now, man. Totally. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I thought we talked just a little bit about Japanese candlestick history. Out OK, here. cool. There's a guy named Yoda Kayan. I, I'm sure I mispron mispronounced it, but he became, he's the guy that actually began trading with Japanese candlesticks. Yeah. He was a successful war merchant. He had a, a great ability to transport, to distribute, to set the price, and it really became well-known. And he did this out of his front yard in the 1600s. Unfortunately, he became really wealthy. Unfortunate, because the military government back then, 1600s, led by the shogun, decided to relieve him of all of his fortune because wow. they believed that he was living above his social rank and lifestyle. Yeah. And there were a couple of other guys that came in there. I know they were watching what he was doing. Other merchants, they tried to corner the rice market. Those folks were punished by having their children executed out there. My so that's kind of like the history. Yeah, I know. That's the history of Japanese. The human people. race, man. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, it's insane. But still today, uh, if you are in Osaka, you can actually uh, visit. Uh, there's a plaque out there. You can visit what used to be his front yard. Wow. Uh, it's got a nice uh, you know, plaque out there uh, to, to cover that. Japanese candlesticks, folks, they're, they're just simply one way for buyers and sellers to communicate to you and I. Tom talks about volume and swing points. That's a way that the market communicates. Japanese candlesticks are another way that a market uh, communicates. Japanese candlesticks are easy to understand. They communicate the health of the uh, market. They identify early indications of a change in trend. Uh, they provide us with nice, unique uh, in, uh, insights out there. They're really great tools. And folks that subscribe to Mastering Probability, there is a workshop that's out there that will take them through that. The misconception with regard to Japanese candlesticks 
is that uh, you, you can't just trade on, on them alone. The way that you want to do that is integrate this into the different patterns or indicators that different people use. Here's an example of some of the bullish candlesticks that are out there. Now, if you take my workshop, I'm going to show you the exact seven that you need to focus on. And the cool thing about that, Tom, is you, if you get either the seven bullish or the seven bearish, that's all you need to know because just the opposite. So if you get the seven bullish, it's just the opposite for the seven bearish out there. So very easy, but extraordinarily helpful. So why are we talking about Japanese candlesticks? Because last week, and if we take a look at this, the weekly chart for the NQ, and the weekly chart for the NQ formed a Gartley buy pattern. And it did that when it, so for me and my work in the A to B equals CD uh, uh, folklore language out here, when you complete the, when you get to that price target area, you start looking for a bullish, in this case here with the market moving down, a bullish reversal candle. And that's what we got last week, which was a hammer candle. Now, what's interesting about this, this kind of blew my mind when I started taking a look at it last night. It's the first weekly Gartley buy pattern that has formed since the 2009 low. That's amazing, Great. man. Yeah. 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 I was like, we've had them on the daily basis, but, right. but and we had we had one on the weekly base that formed back in 2018, but it never confirmed with a bullish hammer candle. So for my work, it we never really, this is the very first one, very first Gartley buy in this pattern. The ES did the same thing. You see the hammer candle out here. So I'm drawing, in essence, the A to B leg, and then yeah. I've got to connect to the C to D leg out there. The weekly S&P 500. So we were taking a look at the ES Mini before. This is the S&P 500. It did the same thing. And the S&P 500 on a daily basis completed a buy the D point pattern. And it does that with a bullish three river morning star. So a three, three candle formation out there. So we've got a weekly Gartley buy pattern, a daily buy the D point. The ES Mini also formed a, a, a buy the D point. It did it with a bullish engulfing candle out here. So this is at the completion of a of a uh, pattern out here. And that's really where the uh, Japanese candlesticks are used to our advantage. So the market's been trying to hammer out a bottom. And if a bottom is forming, the markets are going to need help from the euro. And the reason is, right. is that if we see a close below, it's really a close below 1.034, 1.034, there is no floor underneath this. And the euro will likely head down to the 2,000 lows. And if it heads down to the 2,000 lows, what we should see is we should see like we have in the 2000 time frame when our U.S. markets ran higher, as we've really seen since the 2009 bottom, is European capital flowing to the U.S. So if the euro cracks that 103 level, we really should see a rush of capital, not only just inside the U.S. dollar, but inside the U.S. Uh, stock market out there. And then lastly, what I'll do, since you were talking about gold before, I'm going to change screens here. And uh, so this is kind of like a uh, uh, live situation of Japanese candlesticks. And if you look in the lower left, yes. what we have is the A to B equals C that they talked about for gold. Yeah. Price pulled back to a breakout level. This is something else that I teach, a 1791.60 level. And right now, we've got a bull sash candle. Here is a confirmed by the D point for gold. What gold should do is at least get up to the 1849 level. We can clear 849, then we're off to the races. That's so that's thing. our. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And folks, it's very easy to get his newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can go into newsletters. You're going to see maximum probability right on the right hand side. Hit that button and you start moving the right direction. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Take man. care. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with that man, Mr. Larry Pesavento.